Hello again, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, in this week's video, I'm going to be investigating the management capabilities of Azure and delve into setting up some of the dashboards with you. Now, there are lots of different scenarios that can be supported by different parts of the platform. If you wanted to only be notified when there was an issue, for example, and perhaps check if there were some alerts, some metrics, well, then you're probably most likely going to be using the mobile app. However, if you wanted to do maybe a one-off job, such as change the maybe configuration or test setting up a new resource, you're most likely going to be using the Azure portal. If you wanted to do a deployment the same way each time, well, you're most likely going to be using the Azure command line interface, which is known as CLI. So you can actually script the deployment how you want it. Now we can use the native CLI in the Azure platform. So let's have a quick look at that now. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the Azure portal up and loaded, and I can actually go straight to the top of my screen where there is an uh, Azure CLI tab. If I click on this, after a few moments, I'll be able to run some scripts. Now, this will allow me to set up the resources as well as the hierarchy that's found within Azure, which is awesome. Now, there are actually no hard and fast rules here. However, if you wanted to script without using the CLI, um, or without using the CLI on the portal, should I say, you would actually need to download the CLI extension, such as PowerShell. Next, what we'll look at is the management capabilities found within dashboards. So first of all, let's get rid of this. And I've already done it, so it's already popping up. But if I hadn't, I would go straight to my search bar and type in dashboards and click straight on it. Now, the first thing that you will notice that any dashboards that I've already previously created will show up here in, in the screen, whether they're actually private, I just didn't just don't, um, look at by myself, or whether or not they're shared, which is going to be with other team members. So this does actually mean that if it's the responsibility of you to work as part of central IT to help manage that subscription, you can actually now view all of that same information together as a team and act upon it. So the dashboard can actually display basic information. So if we click on this first one, you see that the first things that we normally get are users of groups, maybe some metrics charts. We even see some of the base level resources that we, we, we've got active on the subscription. But if we wanted to say, look at specific monitoring and performance details, for, apps, for, for example, perhaps a Cosmos database or a SQL database, well, then we would need to create a new dashboard. So as you can see here, we've got a full complement. Um, whichever ones that we need to look at, maybe we need to track VM scale sets as an example we could click on that and create it. We're gonna click on Azure Inventory. It will ask me to enter a name. So I'll say my dashboard. And then hit submit. And hey presto, I've got a fully functioning Azure dashboard that I can now view. So that's it again, I'm afraid. However, next time I'll be looking at the extended management capabilities, including cost management on the portal.